Welcome back to the Monitor here on Arise News. In a new video released yesterday, President Mohamed Buhari made an appeal for Nigerians to turn out to cast their votes at the rescheduled presidential and national assembly elections this Saturday. I wish to commiserate with millions of Nigerians who either traveled hundreds of kilometers to cast their votes or who put so many things on hold in order to cast their votes last weekend, but couldn't do so. I thank you for your commitment and I feel to you not to lose hope in our electoral system. I ask you not to allow the unexpected postponement of the election dates by ANEC to prevent you from exercising your civic rights. Your enthusiasm for the process and your determination to vote in the election must not be dampened. I urge all Nigerian voters to brave the challenges and ensure that they cast their votes. This government assures all voters of their protection before, during, and after the polls. I also thank Nigerians for their patience and trust in our government to deliver credible elections where your votes will count. Your votes will count as we are committed to read our electoral process of both buying and manipulations. Thank you and God bless the people and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Joining us now to speak on the importance of vote turnout during the elections and several other electoral matters in relation to the South South is Brother Emmanuel Gide, Vice Chairman PDP South South. It's good to have you here this morning once again. Thank you very much. And I'm happy to be here too. <laughs> I can see that you are four now. Good. Yes, it's good. good. Uh, I was we are this. making progress in Nigeria. Yes, we are making yeah. progress in Nigeria, yeah. and hopefully on Saturday. In spite of all the threats. Regardless. Thank God. So now, looking at the South-South region, it has always been one, it is looking like it will be very contentious. But without a doubt, how is the PDP mobilizing for this election after the disappointment that we witnessed so few days ago with the postponement? Well, you know, we, we've never stopped. You know, we, we, we have always hoped that we're going to have a new date. In fact, from the day uh, it was announced by the INEC chairman that um, we're going to have an election the next week, we didn't stay. We continued. But we call it a mosquito campaigning, the way we used to do it. You know, mosquito has a way of touching you. So you may not see us on the streets, rush you like you, you saw us before now. And uh, what we did also, we also told our people, we told our community that please don't allow you to go back to wherever they come from. It's going to be expensive, really. But somehow, the communities agreed. So most of them didn't travel. I was reading in some uh, of these social media today how some transporters have said, look, if you're going to vote, go, let me commend them. They have done very well, very, very good. Nigerians, Nigerians are responding, which is very good. And I'm happy with that. But you can be sure that by the grace of God, we'll win this election, especially in the South South. We know there is a lot of trust against us, but it won't work. After all, we're all dead hands now. It won't work. Well, you had the president's um, latest speech yesterday in that video that I just played. Uh, was it reassuring for you? I mean, he's saying the people should come out to vote. Uh, he's reassuring security, uh, safety of lives and property. Are you reassured? Yeah. His handlers have tried. They tried very much to bring him down from that height. Did you see him on Monday? The army him came out. He was visibly annoyed. You know, in psychology, he transferred aggression. And he didn't know what he was saying. So that with this recent video, well, he has brought a little, but that army him is still there. He's not a Democrat. He's still an army man. That's why in our next meeting yesterday, our candidate, the 
president the man who wins the election said we should not be afraid of that and he even advised the army and the police to disregard that kind of order can you a president you see in this game of police many of us don't understand it sometimes we make you to be annoyed of you and he just saw a small temptation and got annoyed he even forgot I don't think he remember that he appointed the Henry chairman. He forgot. He should have apologized to us, Nigerians. Not the Henry chairman, he who brought the umpire should have apologized to us. I'm sorry, Nigerians. I didn't know it was going to be like this. I want to take responsibility for the mistake of INEC. He would have said that. That doesn't mean to say that INEC is not easy, but don't get me wrong. But as the president, as the chief executive officer of the country, he should have said that. He didn't apologize to us. We were rather annoyed. But we know that they said all of these things. You know, the last time I was I told you that things are going to happen, and they're happening. Yeah. I'm not a prophet. Mm -hmm. More things will happen. You, your party is asking for the president to retract his statement um, won't, on the ballot won't. box issue. He won't uh, don't, like you he's think, a don't you think that you're overreacting? I mean overreacting. He, he looking at his co his comments. Please can his, you read just full the, I, I need to be able to hear that no, he did say, from your sweet voice, can you repeat what he said? <laughs> I need to hear it. He did say those yes. who think no, that they will mobilize properly, properly. No, I mean, I'm just paraphrasing Paraphrase. now. Uh, you know those who think that they can and they have the monopoly to assemble thugs yes. to disrupt these elections yes. need to think Think twice uh -huh. about it. And then he, thought, he talked about those who might want to snatch ballot boxes uh -huh. would have to pay with their own lives. He didn't say Nigerians. He didn't say no, wait, a no, particular they have to pay. party. No, wait, they have to pay. Yeah, this is a particular party. But what is the law on that? Is it death penalty? Even an arm robber that you caught throwing away, you have no right to shoot at the arm robber. You have to take him through the process. That's rule of law. Was it not the same president in the MBA conference who was talking about emergency rule over the rule of law? What are you talking now? What would your party do if he doesn't retract that statement? Who can you be president today? But he will be held accountable one day. He's president today, but we need to just put it to the floor. Let us see who they elected yesterday. Okay, let's uh, beyond the um, order supposedly given to the soldiers, which has not gone down well with you and many Nigerians, if I may say. The soldiers have always been brought in to play one role in election. You've been an experienced politician from the MPNDs. Take us through the role soldiers play on election day, because soldiers come out. You see, when soldiers come out, again, I don't know why we bring soldiers. Uh, sometimes we allow them to come into the business they have, no, they have not been trained for. The police have been trained. Yes, I was looking at uh, what are the papers daily today. I even saw, uh, what do you call them? Civil defense. Preparing. Is it a war? Voting is not supposed to be a war. But why are we pushing it to the war status? The war is out there in Bono, Boko Haram, headsmen. We are bringing it to the ballot box. We are the ones who don't look. We were told. I will be following that. That the nearest a policeman will get a box is about 10 feet away, and he should not carry arms. So, where does it this? But I can understand if they are protecting the CBN. I can understand if they are protecting the INEC office. At the state level, at the LGA level, and maybe to escort the materials. But when you get to the police, they should stay away from the how are you going to take ballot box anyway? How are you going to stuff it? Unless there's an arrangement between you and the INEC. If you stuff the box, what about the result? Mike Guinea was listening to him on the processes. That's why I'm sure I'm quite born there. They said they should remove him. He came on air. I was watching him. He said it's difficult to rig an election. If we are following Dupre, it's difficult. Why? At your pulling unit of 500, as soon as it's counted in the presence of everybody and it's pasted, you are asked to use your smartphone to snap it. So where does the rigging come in now? Yeah. 
Brother but Guinea. you see, the rigging comes in yes. if people don't turn out to vote. That's why in PDP, we are people to come out to vote. If in your unit you have 500, 400 appear to vote, what are you going to rig? But if only five persons appear or 50 persons appear, then you may want to rig. That's why we'll be telling our people come out and vote, come out to your numbers. Was well, a turnout in numbers? You can't rig. You can't rig really when they're not there. So we should not be talking about shooting ballot. No, when they're there, they cannot rig. I will be telling people stay there and defend your vote. Look at the other part that I think was even said. You can even come with your full stuff. Come with your water. Come with this. What some of us do in our locality? We give them canopies. But now we are afraid to do that because they say you are doing vote buying. But that's the normal thing you can do for your supporters. You can give them canopies. Okay, bro. You are talking as if um, politicians, Nigerian politicians, are angels. We know, as a fact, that politicians keep their private militia, give them assignments on election days, and that's why sometimes we see, hear this. Um, serious clash um, talks attacking polling stations where perhaps uh, the field your position is winning the respect and it happens on all sides in all parties. I agree so, with you. Like I said, you are not, what you are saying, I no, see no, the politicians no, no. are angels, they just walk calmly I, to polling No, 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 no. I just said it here. You need the protection at the INEC headquarters, at the state, at the NGA and then to escort it to the polling station. And I said, if the polling, the box is there for voting, and you carry it away, where are you going to submit your results? Where is the result sheet? It's not only about the ballot box. What about the result sheet? Unless it has been compromised. If you go and stuff the ballot box, what about the result sheet? That's what we told our people. You know, you know the game that some of them were trying to play. They had we said bring the results, you want to see it. That brings me to why we were saying that INEC had compromised. That APC contractor was the one that uh, the, the carry because I was hearing questions, they just, why are we doing this to ourselves? I've conducted elections. Let me give you a scenario. 2006, I conducted the primaries that brought out the Maradoir. As chairman of PDP yes, in Delta State. PDP, Delta State. What did we do? We had level of class. We accredited you here. And we used buses to transfer. I'm just trying to give you a local arrangement. But when I saw people were trying to break into the venue to frustrate the election, I called the CP. I said, okay, you're going to stand there with me today. He's boy through the tear gas. I said, stand. The man was surprised that with the tear gas I was there. Because if we allow that to happen, the election will fail. But is this not the point of having the military boots on ground? No, no, I'm just about local problem. That's why I'm saying INAC are the ones that controls the security forces. They have not been given to them. They should control it. If you don't control it, there's a problem. Okay, INAC so knows the rule, they know the law. The police well, does not control the military. No, no, no. Once, once, once the man has been attached to you, you tell him what you want. So they have to cordon off the area. Well, you know what? I'm surprised. I don't know whether you are aware of it. In my state, there are three commissioners of police attached to each electoral district. Why are you bringing at me again? Because the police, well, the argument is that the police are massively understaffed. Two days ago, there was a killing. Army has been trained to kill. Yes, but two Police days... Police have been trained to maintain minimum before he kills. But let me say, whatever you have planned, you know, many of us, including whoever is there, this game, to me, what is it like a game? If you have stepped your bank, what has to do with power? So we punish you. Punish yes, you there is that, but there's also the realities that two days ago in Cross River, the PDP ward chairman and three others were killed after signing a peace accord. So it just goes to show that there are serious pressing security problems. It's like land case. You can win the land case that you die too. 
or being so shot it, so after no, signing no, no, a peace accord is somewhat ironic. Have you not seen a lawyer after he won a court case for land as he was going home, they killed him? No, I haven't actually. No, it has happened. Actually, lawyer friends. So what I'm just trying to say is that, yes, most times it is the day you sign an agreement of peace that people die. I, well, nobody's in support of it. But there's a desperation. You know my worry? How can you be in power? You are acting like opposition. It is a great worry for me. That's why I'm making mistakes. It's a worry for me. They should be in charge of the process. They shouldn't be the complainant. So I'm worried when they're complaining today. They're not saying we're master riggers. Oh, we are now. And why didn't we rig ourselves in when you won the election uh, yesterday? All right, Brother Ogidi, uh, before, uh, let's actually point you to a particular fact. Yeah, sure. As we build up to these elections, um, the South South has been the stronghold of the PDV. Yeah. But since the defection of two cardinal members or two pillars of the PDP in the South South, former governors, Aragos Lakbabio, and also the former governor of your state, talking about Governor Emmanuel Dua, a lot of people are feeling that this time around, that might not, the PDP might not have the clout to capture the South South anymore, or that the votes might be cut down through the middle. How is it Literally. possible? One man, two men. But these are strong pillars. These were strong pillars in the you South see, South for the what PDP. What makes you strong is people. You can, you're not strong on your own. No governor is strong on his own. The governor is strong with the people around him. So it's not correct. It's unfortunate they left. It's unfortunate. I repeat that. But I'm very sure they are regretting it today. The world is happening. The expectation it has failed them. You, you see, did you see Akbabio today the way he was talking? I felt for him. He's not that radiant man you used to know now. So it's not going to work. It's not possible. A governor. The, how many times did the governor go to the field? It's the people around you that go to the field. You don't need to give directive. How it is carried out is a different ballgame. So it's not true. How about the elections of senator manager against Udo Aga? That's my senator that you're talking yes. about. Let me recrab that question. Okay. Because all politics are local. Yes. I'm sure people watching from your constituency of course, they're, they're, they're. need to hear you. Yes. Now, Udwanga is an Ishekiri man. Yes. And the Shekiris are one of the Three mid the, yes. that uh, make up that uh, senatorial yes, district, of yes. course, including uh, Gurubo Sofwari. Yes. Now, the Shekiris are likely to back their own. Okay. The Jaws are they likely, their or not likely behind manager. Uh -huh. Now, and the Isokos, where you come from, yes. are likely to be split down the line. How? How can they be split down? Are the you line? saying the Isokos will not? Where you have people like uh, Buzure Makoli. It's been a good Makoli. It's been a good Makoli. But they were uh, people no, who worked with like uh, I said, Udoha elevated. People judges. working. Did they go with him? No. Buzure Makoli is from my own local government. We are there. We compared notes. He's fully with us. You, you, you see, we are talking about the Chakiris. Who told you the Chakiris what they did? In the other parties, did it also they spring up in the other parties? In the same election. So, whereas the Ichakris are splitting themselves in the other vote, they just have one candidate. The Sokos don't have. So, the Sokos are going to go with manager. Don't forget, manager is also the Soko. So, when anyway, we let's not bring that into it. Let's not look at it. He said he left the party because we didn't give him automatic ticket. Yeah, I'm sure he heard it. But you see, uh, I feel for him. He worked hard as a governor for eight years. He worked hard as a commissioner, as a to government for eight years. I'm worried for him. But I pray God Almighty to bring him back to the food where he belongs. He doesn't belong to APC. He doesn't have the character. I pray God to bring him back. Well, are you convinced and confident that elections are good to go on Saturday um, with all that INEC has said? I mean, there will be daily briefings. We are ready. Yesterday. No, when it comes to it, we are ready for election. Are you confident that INEC is ready to go on Saturday? Oh, no, please. I just heard the chairman again say they are ready. We are praying they should be ready. Because it's very expensive for us. 
if we don't do this Saturday again. Today we have moved to Kaduna and Gombe. Tomorrow, so it will, it will be too expensive for us. We are praying God that it should be ready. Did you listen to the International Committee Jews Observers? I was in Hilton last week. I went there for a day. I stayed there. I didn't want to stay in my house. I stayed in the hotel. They took part of the whole floor, costing them money. The observers. So they say, oh, this is Nigeria, like, you know, the big country. Oh, let us see it happen. It was so enthusiastic. They would come, according to what they would fold their hand. I'm ashamed. And that's what I told the people. The place should have been annoyed about the failure of not uh, what the ballot box uh, station. It's no longer fashionable now. I don't know why we're discussing uh, ballot box. Uh, it's a long time ago we had a station ballot box around now. It's a long time ago now. Because with this new and again, if you had signed the amended letter, we would not be in this shit. We would not absolutely use the word shit. We're in this mess. Ballot box smashing is old fashioned. Many thanks, Thank uh, you very much. Brother you. Emmanuel Ogidi, for coming on the show this morning. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you very much.